Anubis is the Egyptian god of mummification and the afterlife, lord of the necropolises, patron of embalmers and guide of the recently deceased to the underworld, this jackal-headed god was also responsible for weighing the hearts of the deceased to see if they were worthy of entering the realm of the dead. Sit back and enjoy the video so let's get started. In general, Egyptian religion seems to place relatively little emphasis on the origins of its gods. Unless succession was an issue, as in the case of Osiris and Horus, these varied greatly over time. In early Egyptian mythology, Anubis had different fathers. Instead of being the son of Set, he was the son of Osiris and Nephthys, the result of the goddess cheating Osiris. Nephthys' betrayal contributed to Set's desire to kill Osiris. However, later in mythology he is described as the son of Set. According to this story, Nephthys, Set's wife, was attracted to the beauty of Osiris, Set's brother, so she transformed herself to appear to him as Isis, the wife of Osiris. Osiris slept with Nephthys and she became pregnant with Anubis, but abandoned him shortly after birth for fear that Set would discover the infidelity. Isis discovered the affair and went in search of the child, and when she found him, she adopted him as her own. Set also discovered the affair, and this is exposed as part of the reason for his murdering Osiris. After his assimilation into the Osiris myth, Anubis was regularly seen as Osiris' protector and his right-hand man, who cared for the god's body after his death, oversaw his mummification, and assisted Osiris in judging the souls of the dead. Anubis was often invoked, as evidenced by amulets, two murals, and written works, to ask for protection and vengeance, he was especially invoked as a powerful ally to make curses work or to defend against curses. Although Anubis is well represented in art throughout Egyptian history, he does not play a particularly important role in many myths. His role as Lord of the Dead, prior to his assimilation into the Osiris myth, was static, as he only performed a solemn function that did not give rise to elaboration. As the protector of the dead, who invented mummification and the preservation of the human body, he seems to have been considered too busy to be involved in the kind of stories told about the other Egyptian gods. He is depicted as a black canine animal, a jackal-dog hybrid with pointed ears, or as a muscular man with the head of a jackal. The color black was chosen for its symbolism, not because Egyptian dogs or jackals were black. Black symbolized both the decomposition of the body and the fertile soil of the Nile Valley, which represented regeneration and life. Therefore, this powerful black dog was the protector of the dead and ensured that they received their due in burial as well as accompanying them in the afterlife to help them with resurrection. Among Anubis' functions are that he is a protector of tombs, embalmer in the Osirian myth, Anubis helped Isis to embalm Osiris. In fact, when the myth of Osiris emerged, it was said that after Osiris died, his organs were offered as a gift to Anubis. With this relationship, Anubis became the patron god of embalmers. During mummification rites, illustrations in the Book of the Dead sometimes show the jackal-masked priest supporting the mummy upright. Another of Anubis' functions was, keeper of the scales. The critical scene depicting the weighing of the heart, in the Book of the Dead, shows Anubis performing the measurement that would determine whether a person was worthy to enter the realm of the dead, the underworld known as Duet. By weighing the heart of the deceased against the ostrich feather of Mott, Truth, Anubis dictated the fate of the souls. Souls heavier than the feather would be devoured by Amit, a lighter soul would ascend to the celestial existence. Although he does not have a major role in most myths, he had immense popularity, and like many other Egyptian deities, he passed from one period to another thanks to his association with the gods of other countries, I hope you liked the video and if you want to know more about mythology don't forget to subscribe.